What happens when you spin an egg quickly? Today, I will dissect the egg to show its internal structure. The outer part of the egg is protected by a hard shell. When you observe the eggshell under a microscope, you can see very small pores where gas exchange occur. The shell is composed of calcium carbonate, so if you soak it in vinegar for about a day, bubbles will form and the shell will dissolve. If you carefully peel off the shell, you can see this structure. When you shine light on it, you can see the yolk. The reason the egg doesn't spill out even when the shell dissolves is because there is a double layer of eggshell membranes inside the shell. Now, I will crack open the egg to show the inside. This is the tool used for cracking the egg. The reason for using this tool is, well, there isn't any specific reason. Open the shell and pour out the contents inside. When we observe the inside of the shell, there is something at the bottom. Once we remove the shell, we can see the membrane inflated like this. This is an empty space called the air cell, which forms when the warm egg from the hen cools down, causing a separation between the two layers of actual membranes. If we look at a cooked egg, there is a sunken part. When we cook the egg, the moisture evaporates and the air cell expands, resulting in this appearance. Furthermore, when you look at the contents inside the egg, you can see a white string-like substance. This part is called the chalaza, a structure that anchors the yolk in the center. If we look closely, it has a twisted shape. Since the chalaza is composed of protein, it is safe to eat. The visibility of the chalaza is an indication of freshness and the yolk is surrounded by the vitelli membrane so it allows us to separate them while many people think the yolk becomes a chick but in reality the part that become a chick is the blastodisc a very small portion in hands fertilization and cell division occur only in the blastodisc region cell division takes place in this small portion leading to the formation of a chick However, while human babies receive nutrients from the umbilical cord, a chicken must grow into a chick inside the egg on its own. Therefore, it carries the necessary nutrients for development in advance, and that is the yolk. The yolk is rich in protein, fats, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. On the other hand, the egg white, known as albumin, surrounds the yolk. Albumin is not actually white, but when heat is applied, the proteins coagulate and it turns white. Albumin protects the yolk and maintains the moisture inside the egg. Lastly, sometimes when we eat eggs, we may come across brown specks. These are called meat spots, and they are tissues that have separated from the ovary or oviduct. They are present in the egg from the time of formation, and it is safe to eat them. This is the end of the egg anatomy. I purchased an interesting gadget found on the internet. After placing the egg inside and spinning it rapidly and boiled it, once I peeled off the shell, it had turned into a golden egg. The yolk and egg white had mixed while the egg was spinning. I gave this golden egg to Sebastian. But as usual, he showed no interest. I ate all the eggs that I used in the experiment. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.